Howdy, happy Saturday to you. I have just been thinking about you and wondering if I might be able to offer a few ideas to help you pass this time. We have been homeschooling for 20 plus years, so I'm a mom of seven beautiful children, and my children have never even gone to school. So this is like totally commonplace for us to just be home and doing our thing. And homeschooling is such an amazing gift. So I'm excited for you guys to be able to embark on that journey a little bit. But I do know that it could be quite overwhelming to just like walk into this because you weren't prepared and you weren't planning for it. And here it is in your face. So I just want to encourage you that this is a time that you can trust in the Lord and ask him for ideas. Literally, God help me. I don't know what to do. Um, ask him to give you ideas and downloads because he will do that and you will wake up with amazing things. And it says in God's word that he instructs us in the night season. So that's pretty exciting. And so for many of my friends who are doing the Young Living Oils and needing all the things to keep themselves healthy during this time, don't panic if you're out of these household cleanse or don't panic if you're out of thieves. You have the ability to use the oils you have on hand to make up cleansers, to use things to support your immune system. Pinterest has amazing ideas to make your own DIY products. If you add a deodorant, you can make deodorant by using um, lavender in a spray bottle with water, purification in a spray bottle with water. Actually, some, some lavender on your hand and just put it on the pits. Um, for the cleansers, just get your spray your spray bottle maybe put some vinegar and some lemon and rosemary lavender citrus fresh you can look on pinterest to get some grand ideas and for the homeschooling mamas who are now homeschooling but are not of that persuasion there are so many things that you can use this time for to teach your daughters and sons to cook to think of budgeting to think of meal planning to think of cooking from scratch there's so many things on pinterest as well and on allrecipes.com there's all kinds of cool recipes there so this is a time to be able to use resources online because we have that as a wonderful gift follow me on here and on my facebook which is um sharon king so I'm excited to walk this journey with you and I have lots of ideas. I'm just giving you a little intro here because we're having friends over and they just arrived. So I'm kind of just kind of work through this. Oh, but a couple quick things is our mindset during this time. I do feel a, a underlying stress just right there and I pop off real easy. But what we're doing tonight is having a couple of people over and worshiping. There's lots of Bethel YouTubes that you can just calm your soul. Julie True is very calming. It's soaking. Just sit and ask the Holy Spirit, what do you want to tell me? What do you have to say about me? What do you think about me? And allow him to minister to your spirit in a deep way during this time. This can be the Christian's reinforcements in our foundation. And I've had a couple days where he and I have gone at it and wondering why I'm so stressed. And why I've woken up three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with my neck muscles just tense. I didn't go to bed tense. I woke up tense. And so I talked to him and said, what's up? Why am I feeling this? How am I doing? What do I, I need to feel better? Where were you, Jesus? Father, Holy Spirit, whoever you'd like to talk to. And he's given me amazing visions and downloads to help calm my spirit. It's also a time to set a timer every hour, read a part of scripture, read a blessing over yourself and your family. Just continue to refocus on what he has for us, what he says, and how he's our provider. He's our peace. He will never leave us or forsake us. He's our comforter. He went to heaven. Jesus went to heaven and sent. He said he sends the Holy Spirit, our comforter. We have a comforter in our spirit, but we need to tap into that and to be able to know who he is and what he says about us and what he says about these times. His peace he leaves with us. He peace gives with us. That Not that we should be troubled like the world is. Come to me, Arles, you are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, and I will give you rest. My burden is easy and my yoke is light. Those are such rich truths. So just a little snippet. I'll be back. Bye.